morning, everyone. Um, before I step on the scale, just want to let you guys know, not expecting it to be great. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, we'll address that later. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Michiwi and I'm on a weight loss journey. If you're not new here and you saw yesterday's episode, you're probably wondering what the fuck. Yesterday was not a good day for me. I woke up knowing something was off and I was just depressed. I don't know why, I didn't have a reason, I just was. And I couldn't get out of it, which led to shoddy camera work and overeating. There are three buttons on top of my camera one for background, one for recording speed, and one to record. If I press the wrong recording speed button, the footage is either gonna be super sped up or super slow, and it makes the audio and footage useless. I had gotten better about checking my viewfinder to make sure that the recording setting was correct, but because I was off yesterday, I just didn't do it and something happened. And I don't script out most of my videos. I do research and have talking points sometimes if there's something I want to discuss, but 95% of it is just me winging it, so I couldn't even tell you what I said at that moment. And also because I was off, I didn't start video editing until after I talked to you guys at 4 p.m. and was crying, and I don't know what I said then either. And at that point, the day was unsalvageable for me. Again, I don't know why I was crying. I don't know why I was upset. I just was, and that happens sometimes, to me at least. I know once I'm already in a depressive state, there's really nothing but a good night's sleep that will get me back to being normal. It just kind of sucks because, so not only was my recording bad, but my eating habits were as well. I didn't eat unhealthy things, but a calorie is a calorie is a calorie, and I overate. I just kept snacking all day, and it was trying to find comfort in something, and that comfort never came, and the satiation never came, and I just kept consuming. It's really hard to lose weight. <laughs> you know, we're in a society that we get advertisements for fast food nonstop. Our grocery stores, the first thing you see are chips usually, and Twinkies, and you have to make your way through it to get to, you know, fruits and vegetables. And then our own minds are playing against the desires of our own minds. It's just tricky. <laughs> So even though I was telling myself not to snack, I, I couldn't stop. I know I went over. I don't know by how much. It could be 1,500 calories to 2,000 calories yesterday. I am not sure. So normally I would be fasting today until like 2 or 4, but I really wanted coffee this morning, and I don't want to punish myself for having a bad day. So I'm just going to restrict my calories a bit more today, and that is not as a punishment. It is what I'm doing to help me towards my goal. If it starts to feel like a punishment, I will eat. If I start getting hungry or lightheaded or anything like that, I will eat. But I have fasted before. This isn't even a fast. This is just going to restrict my calories more for today. But in an overall 24 hour period, I will have eaten at least a thousand calories. Honestly, I don't even think I could fast because I was eating until like eight o'clock at night last night. It, it just, it's not gonna, there's just no way to fast for that today. I was just really going through it yesterday. I don't know. Anyway, with all that out of the way, today's plan. I need to return a library book and pick up a library book. I will be returning calories in, calories out. I thought it was going to be an interesting read to see what kind of exercises and how long they suggest exercising for certain meals. One, I didn't find any of their meals particularly appetizing, and all of the calories out were just suggesting running for an hour and a half for women. For men, it was an hour. The book I'll be picking up today is another cross-stitch one, and that's good because I'm almost done with the other one. I knew I was off yesterday, so I did do cross-stitching for a bit, but it was just annoying me, and that's the opposite of what I wanted. I wanted relaxation, and for some reason, everything was just annoying the crap out of me, so didn't get as far as I wanted to, but I did get some done. But we're going to go to Value Village today, and then tonight, we're going to do a board game night at our local board game shop. Tomorrow we're thinking kayaking, which I am super excited for as well. I definitely need it. Laying around in bed all day, my body's sore. So since I'm skipping breakfast, there is nothing to show for cooking wise. So you will just see me go about my day for a while and then I will come back and talk to you guys later. Let's get on with the day.
just got done with Value Village and uh, there wasn't really anything there. Everything seemed a little overpriced and not that interesting. And I was hoping to get a lot of like my mid-size clothes today, but rather than buy like five $10 pants, I'll get three brand new $10 pants, you know? So, um, not today. I did get a throw pillow and some white pants, which are actually quite hard to find, so I'm happy about that. But next up on the list, walking the dogs. It's four o'clock. I've held out as long as I can. I need to get as much food in my stomach as possible to last me for the rest of the evening because at six is when board game night starts and so we will probably be doing stuff until nine. I still will have to video edit the last of my stuff. I haven't even started. So it's time to make some food and I'm going to make chicken sandwiches. I'm gonna have two tortilla shells, whatever amount of chicken I throw on there, some onions and mushroom, some mayo with avocado oil, and a little bit of guacamole sauce. I will show you what I'm making and the count, and then the next roll should be board game night. My fingers are still blue. I have scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed. <sighs> They're gonna be really noticeable for board game night. A smart person would stop using their fingers, but like that's half of the appeal for me is squishing the blueberries, so I don't know. Anyway, off to board game night. Oh, I hope not. 
because I can't get into my Facebook because my phone's broke. Anyway, oh, I could do it online, it's fine. We just got done with game board night. It is eight o'clock and I am pretty much done editing because there's nothing to edit from board game night. I didn't record anything because the people there are pretty shy and they're very focused on the game rather than conversation and playing, at least half of them are. And we were at the table where everyone was super focused and I wasn't gonna shove a camera in their face. I am exhausted though. That game went on longer than I wanted it to. And I lost very badly because I stopped paying attention about halfway through. I think for the next game night we go to, I'm going to try and pick out the game that sounds interesting to me because one of the reasons why I want to do this is so that I can find the games I like and get good at them so that I can teach them to others. You okay with that, babe? Yeah. Okay. But I got a friend request apparently, so that's fun. Making friends, making things happen. That's gonna be it for tonight, you guys. I cannot seem to get the camera to focus and I'm super tired and brain dead and my, my brain is coagulating, congealed constipated, all the words that start with a C. Night guys, take care. Hope you had a fun Friday night.